What's up, fans? Welcome back to the channel. And shout out to the notification gang, gang gang. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe because this is what we do and we do it daily. So hit that sub button. So we got to talk about this one, fans. I got two pieces of news for you guys. I didn't want to make two videos. I just wanted to make one video on this because I'm talking about sports. And I know some of you guys don't rock with the sports, but a lot of you guys really do. The first bit of news I got for you guys, man, is that Kyrie Irving wanted to go bye-bye. Kyrie Irving wanted to get up out of there. Now, you guys know, right? I made a video on this, I would say about a month ago. Kyrie Irving sources close to him came out and said that there's been drama between Kyrie Irving and LeBron James. People were saying that Kyrie Irving wanted to go to his own team. He wanted to be his own guy. I'm guessing he wasn't too happy with the way that LeBron James was running the team. Now, this is shocking because usually, don't people want to play with LeBron? Like, I hear all these retired players talk about how they would love to play with someone like LeBron because he's selfless. He passes the ball. Well, they finally came to that trade. Kyrie Irving goes to the Celtics. And the Celtics in Isaiah Thomas, Jay Crowder, and I can't pronounce this dude's name, I believe is Antti Zizek. The Cavaliers also receive a first round pick from the Brooklyn Nets. Now, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section who won in this trade. Now, this is the way I feel, man. Regardless of who won in this trade, I don't think this is going to be enough to help the Cavs beat the Warriors. If anything, I think they went backwards, right? Because you're bringing in brand new players. You're getting rid of someone that used to co-run the system that you have been running for the past few years. And the reason I say co-run is because, yeah, LeBron James would bring the ball up himself along with Kyrie Irving. They would go 50-50. So now you got to teach Isaiah Thomas a new way of thinking, and he's going to have to get on board with a brand new system. Now, usually when people come into these teams, right, they probably have the mindset, okay, well, it's going to take us some time to gel together. We'll eventually win a championship. No. Listen, the pressure is on the Cavaliers right now to win a championship now because everyone and their mama's thinking LeBron James is about to go bye-bye. So we'll see what happens in this situation. But I just don't think this does it. You guys let me know in the comment section what you think. Now, the second part of the news I got for you guys, man, this breaks my heart because I've been watching John Jones – since he was 18 years old, man. I remember the only fight that he lost. And to be honest, he lost the fight because he hit someone with an illegal elbow. Sad stuff. The news that's being reported right now is that John Jones tested positive for steroids. Yeah. The dude has been stripped of his belt. And it's just not looking good, man. I mean, how many times have we seen John Jones mess up, right? This is I, like I've lost count, man. He's came back so many times and the match was set for him to go up against Daniel Cormier and it didn't happen like at least maybe three or four times. Now, they're saying that he tested positive for them roids. I just don't know what to think anymore, man. I think this guy is the greatest fighter in UFC history, but when you're testing positive for roids, people are going to be like, nah, give me that belt. You ain't the greatest. Sad stuff, man. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Also, let me know what you guys think, man. Where does John Jones go from here, man? Jeez.